Hey everybody, welcome back to Recordology. Okay, today you and I are going to do a little CSI work on this record right here. This thing is about nine inches wide. It smells very intensely like a magic marker. And I don't know if the material that it's made out of is decomposing, but it's it's not really sticky, but it, it smells like a magic marker. It has to be sealed off in storage. I've had this for a number of years. So this old record dates to, I would, based on the individual, based on the story of this record, I would date this to about, probably about 1949 to 1952-ish. This is a Howard recording disc custom cut record and i assume it's cut by a you know a, a lathe versus a press because you know it's custom it's a one of a kind so this is from a home recorder now what's on this is kind of interesting on this side um look at this slow burning what in the world and i'm not trying to be cagey like i know what this <laughs> tell me what you could tell me about this i know a couple of things about this only i know that it exists and I know the story behind this particular record. I don't know what kind of discs these are, the discs these are, what exactly the process is for creating them, why they smell like magic marker. It says type 8F slow burning recording disc, title by and date. And as you can see, this one has this weird edge up here. It's hard to tell. It's really hard to tell exactly what that is. That I'm even looking at. At first I thought maybe it's like a paper core, but it's not. It feels like it's flush on the edge there. Very, very interesting. It's not sticky. You'd think that it smells like it would be sticky for some reason. Anyway, so this says on it, clarinet special Bobby. So this is a relative of mine, and this is from a clarinet recital or a lesson that, you know, like I said, dates to late 40s. Early 50s. So we're going to do a little CSI work, find out what speed it is, all that good stuff, and listen to it together. Again, this is custom. It's a one of a kind. You know, let's start on this side just, just for grins. So let's start with, well, that's a really weird texture. And it's got kind of this, you know, it's a dust magnet, and I don't even know if I should try brushing it. I don't know. But here we go. We're going to use the uh, Crosley Collegiate classroom style record player, very durable, with an Audio-Technica 3600L, uh, indestructible, yet moving magnetic stylus on here. Let's start at 33 RPM and see what we get. These home records are extremely noisy. More noise than sound. I hear a little bit of music under there. I feel like it's slow. Let's go up to 45. Oh, wrong switch. Still seems slow. Process of... 78 RPM, process of elimination. I know Bobby, and that ain't Bobby. We definitely hit the right speed, but as Bobby never sang opera so far as I know, I'm assuming the other side was just a recording possibly off the radio. I'm not 100% sure. This side is the one that's labeled with the clarinet special, so let's go ahead and listen to that from the beginning. There we go. Bird likes it. Kind of jazzy. Listen to that weird background. Aside from the noise, there's this weird oscillating background sounds like whew, whew, whew. Mm -hmm. 
Now it's not doing it, of course. Sounds pretty good clarinet. Obviously it's, you know, filtered through an extremely noisy record and decades and decades of time. Okay, we got the auto stop kicking in, turn that off. And we get a very crude runout groove, which I'll save my stylus from. So there you go. You know, do we get, the, what am I doing? Let's listen to this some more on the other side. I'm not sure, do we hear everything there was? Was it just that opera singer? Yeah. It's amazing, you guys. It's like, I've heard wax cylinder recordings that sound better than that. This record, from what I understand, was either a recital or a lesson uh, of a relative on the clarinet. But this record, though, just showed up, you know, a couple years ago. I'm like, what in the world? And like I said, it just smells like magic marker. I don't know why that is, but I'm sure somebody out there knows. So one of you at least knows. So tell me more about it. Howard Recording Disc. I did look into this a couple years ago. We actually did a show on this early, early days of recordology. And um, yeah, it's really interesting. I think it's, you know, interesting from a historic standpoint. And I also like the archeology span side of, you know, what's on the disc, what does it, when does it date from, yada, yada, yada. So anyway, guys, I hope you thought that was interesting. Little mystery custom record there for you. Do you guys have anything like that? Have you uh, ever come across anything bizarre like that? Specifically from your own family history? Tell me about it in the comments below. Also, if you have specific information on this, let me know in the comments below. So that is gonna do it for today, my friends. Happy record hunting. We will see you tomorrow.